please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now here is Alviar Mata Mercado to lead you in the Scholar's Pledge. We, the students of the Santa Ana Unified School District, pledge to be dedicated to scholarship. We will strive to succeed and build an honorable future. We will make our city proud by being respectful and responsible. We shall not only ensure success for ourselves, we will also encourage success in others. Hi, I'm Angel, and I'm Brixel. Here's the announcement for this one. We want to say great work to every Via Eagle who showed pride and achievement by doing their best on the map test on Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday. That was your final map test for this year. These tests will help measure your progress, so now you'll be able to track your growth since the beginning of the year. The SBAC test will be coming up soon. Be on the lookout for some text test taking tips in our next video. Attention all UCI Mass Circle students. The final six filled Six fun filled Wednesday continuing today, April 18th. Meet at the McClay Street gate right after school. The bus will leave at 1.30. On the way to UCI, we will be discussing the upcoming all-day field trip to explore other areas of study within UCI. Eighth graders, don't forget to purchase your knots and dinner dance tickets through the front office during lunchtime and also after school. You will need to get the permission to sign before buying a ticket, so make sure you to get one from the office or room 214. Angel, did you know that last Thursday, April 10th, Santana High School Jazz Band came to you? No, I didn't know that. Why were you here? They put, on, they put on a concert for all the music students. They wanted to promote music and play for our VIA bands too. I heard they were fantastic. That's pretty cool. I wish I could have watched some performance. Well, actually you can. Because Mr. Alvarez, our music teacher, filmed some of it. Take a look at that as some highlights. The first spring break, a recognition coordinator, coordinator Miss Bailey and some other chaperones took the sixth and seventh grade students on an exciting beach field trip to Bolsa Chica. The students who earned this awesome privilege had all earned at least 3.0 GPA and did not have any D's or U's on the report cards from the semester one. Let's check out some highlights from the beach trip now. Today's segment is top five makeup products. Number five is 
Cover FX and Enhancer Drops. Number four is Clinic Super Super Powdered Double Face Makeup. Number three is Mag Studio Fix Powder Foundation. Number two is Estee Lauder Foundation. Number one is Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Concealer. Tune, Tune in next, next time for the next top five. And I'm Jackie, here are the updates for after school sports. Check and field practice has started via equals. If you missed last week's Thursday and Friday meeting and would like to still join, talk to Miss Cheyenne, Lynn, or Ms. Gomez. You will need to get a permission slip signed before you join. Practice is on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays after school until 4 p.m. There are many exciting events to compete in, so don't miss out on this great opportunity to have fun and be active. We'd like to give you an update on hockey at this time. The Stanley Cup playoffs have started. The Stanley Cup playoffs is an elimination tournament in the National Hockey League consisting of the of four rounds of best of 70 series. Eight teams from each of the two conferences qualify for the playoffs place based on regular season points totals. There are totals of 16 teams currently competing for the honorable title. The Pittsburgh Penguins won the title last year, but who will take it? They, Take it this year. Although many teams are playing, we will be focusing on the local favorites, the Ducks and the Kings. The Anaheim Ducks are competing against the San Jose Sharks. The, the Sharks are in the lead 2-0. to zero. The LA Kings are up against the Vegas Golden Knights. The Knights are in the lead 3-0. to zero. Let's switch over to baseball and see how the Angels and Dodgers are doing. Angels fans should be pretty happy because the Angels currently have 13 wins and only 3 losses. Way to go, Angels! As for the Dodgers, they are off to a slow start with 5 wins and 9 losses. The season is far from over, so we'll see what happens. Tune in next week. And we'll catch up with all the sports news. This is all the news we have for you today, Viegos. Remember to show prior respect and achievement in everything that you do. Have, have a superb week. week.